All right, so here is the second version. So this harness here, this is the first one that I built. This is identical to the one that uh, Scott has. Uh, I built it just for reference in case I needed to go over anything with him. So I was looking at exactly what he was looking at. So here's the second one I just built today after getting the Warrior here. And this one has the neutral and reverse indicators and the wiring for it down here. Here's a reverse switch. And here is a neutral light or the neutral switch wire. Everything else is the same but I did change up the way everything comes out in the front. At the time, I didn't know how it ran on the bike, so I replicated the factory where the headlights come out down here. Uh, I don't know why they do that, because bringing everything out the front is just fine. I'm getting ready to put it on the frame and try it out. Um, the coil wire right here, could uh, I did that just like factory, where it could be tightened way up. So I did it that way, it looks a lot cleaner. So then you got you know your factory light switch, headlights i didn't bring them out so far apart they're just really tight right there because the headlight connectors are you know right next to each other so that comes out pretty good and then of course like i said the indicator lights so this one looks so much cleaner already and it's only the second harness hey guys this is a real quick look at the factory harness on here real quick they've already got the clutch switch bypassed on it and he disconnected the part brake because he put an aftermarket perch on it but uh, just a real quick look at how the factory harness fits on there. There's your headlights right here, of course. And then that's, that looks there. And then get a little view from here, coil and then the ground. And then it runs down along the frame right there over top of the engine. And then this wire would go to your reverse switch, which, you know, that's gone. Um, everything still works as it. Everything will still work as it should though. And you've got your neutral wire here that plugs into your harness. All this here is gonna be your stator. It runs down right over the air box, like this here, crosses over, runs down, and then pretty much stops right here. Uh, it's gonna plug into your solenoid, you know, then you got your, your fuse. I mean, it does go here to these relays that are history. And then you got the CDI out back right there. So I'll show you how all that kind of runs. All right, here we go. Got it off there real quick. So just a clear, real quick comparison of the differences. There's the front and that's gone, but it's not gonna matter. It's still gonna work as it should, lights and everything. Here's the back part of it. All this is gone be there anymore for now i left these relays on there but i'm going to take them off here in just a second and then right here the cdi connectors and then your tail light it's all pretty much the same except all this mess is going to be gone the relays will be gone this wire will be gone you're no longer going to have those two wires in there and that switch will be gone and instead of coming out like this everything just comes out nice and clean in the front so let's put this thing on okay got it on there Went on a lot easier than the old one came off. A lot less stuff in there. Here is, you know, your light switch. You got your headlights right here. They're plugged right in. These are LEDs, so they don't have high low function, but I'll show you they work. Got the hood lane right there to use as key. Coil looks so much cleaner the way everything hooks up, just like that right there. Indicator lights, wire is long. I'm gonna take three inches out of it. That'll be fine. So I will do that on the next harness. Um, I didn't put a lot of the retainers back on or the straps back on like you see here because this harness is coming back off because next i'm going to do a drag harness and some others this is just two out of a few the bracket is still loose that holds the wire it runs along factory routing along the frame crosses over the air box right down through there comes down where it, uh, where oem is this is off so that i had room to get the factory one out because it was tight this one went right in there so then i did put this strap on to hold it to show that everything is just I mean, it's just the right length. Everything fits just as factory. The, you got your reverse switch right there. Your neutral switch is hooked up right there. That hooks up to your neutral switch. I'm going back here real quick, trying to show you everything, but go fast at it. Cause I know I'm going to edit this together. It's going to be five or six minutes long. So you got your solenoid wires, perfect length. All the relays are gone. Don't need them anymore. Everything works as it should though. Um, Wires go back through here to the tail light, to the voltage regulator as factory. They go back to the CDI right there. They plug right into the CDI. Okay, let's go ahead and run a sucker real quick. 
I am indoors, so I'm not gonna run it very long, but key on. Okay, we got a neutral light, good deal. Kick it out of neutral, goes off, kick it back into neutral, and try reverse light. And again, this isn't even hooked up anymore. Reverse, boom, reverse is good to go. Put it back there. All right, we're gonna flip it on, run it. Good to go, everything works. I know the, re the reverse rev limiter is bypassed. Don't have to test that. Oh, here, let's take a look at the lights. Lights. There we go. And again, he doesn't have like a higher low function because they're LED, but everything works as it should, guys. So this harness is coming off. On to the next style. Cool, guys. Harness is back off the bike. Got it on the table. Got it all wiped down and cleaned back up. One more look at it right there. It will be available at SouthTexasBanshee.com. Um, it may be on there already for sale uh, if you check the website. However, there is going to be a little bit of a wait. You know, I am busy, but I do need to get a few extra connectors. I'm, I don't have all the connectors for it, but you are more than welcome to pre-order this harness. If you go on SouthTexasBanshee.com, there is a new category. Go to Yamaha Warrior and you will find it and give me a little bit of time to get one whipped out for you. But again, this one is complete factory replacement. Everything works as it should does not have any of the cutoff relays. It doesn't have a clutch safety switch. I can put one in. That will be in the next harness. Thanks guys.